Uh, you've probably seen this if you hang out on your socials too much since the reelection of Donald Trump to the White House. American women have hit TikTok in huge numbers, responding to the fact that men formed the majority of the Trump vote, supporting the return of the administration that facilitated the restriction of abortion rights and is likely to continue reaffirming pre-civil rights era gender roles. Now, the women are expressing their dissatisfaction by joining the 4B movement. Now, the 4Bs in a Korean stand for no dating, no marriage, no sex, no childbirth. Basically, encouraging women to seek satisfying lives with as little interaction with men as possible. It all really popped off after the 2016 publication of a novel, Kim Ji Young, born 1982 by Cho Nam Ju. The book detailed the daily deep sexist injustices experienced by South Korean women. Now, here's the thing, though. Uh, it has contributed to, as you'd expect, a severe collapse in the South Korean birth rate. If the numbers keep moving at the, the pace that they are, the country's population will cut be cut by half by the end of this century. Um, so as you'd expect, the government has dumped a lot of money in trying to rebalance these figures. Has rolled out a bunch of initiatives to tackle the declining birth rate, pouring in more than $280 billion so far. And yet, they have fallen far short, with one survey showing 90% of respondents find the birth rate campaigns ineffective. Some initiatives border on the absurd, like this politician promoting Kegel exercises, or this one suggesting girls start primary school a year earlier than boys to make them more appealing. Yeah, they're swinging for the fences and being a little bit gross in the process. Like the, the public Kegel exercises, I, I, this is kind of funny, but trying to make children more attractive long term as official state policy is bonkers. <laughs> like, oh. I, yeah, I, I appreciate both your faces. Now, all that said, though, the impact of the South Korean 4B movement beyond the reduction in the birth rate is kind of hard to tell because sexual assaults and workplace harassment are all up. Now, this could be because the movement has freed women up to make more reports of these things and pursue more charges, or it could be due to men committing more gender-centric crimes as a response to the women withdrawing from them. Now, it's no idea yet whether these trends will carry over into the U.S., and here's the big one, whether Bermudian women will be inspired by this and follow their lead. What do y'all think?